for me, um, for many years, my family is the most important thing in my life and the happiness of my children. And when my son came out, the most important thing for me was his happiness. I had a gay son, which was okay with me, and his boyfriend was uh, always welcomed, of course, like the boyfriends or girlfriends of the other kids. And his happiness was the most important thing in my life. I knew some of his friends, but I didn't really, uh, I wasn't involved. Uh, and only after the murder in the Bono, I really understood the depth of the problem. So I, I was thinking that maybe uh, coming, you know, out of, out of this horrible event that when uh, my son lost his life, there's something that should be done, something that, you know, takes, takes the, uh, our private life in, in the same position of importance, but still uh, to go out and to talk and to uh, make people stop for a minute, do a little pause and think about what they know, what they think they know and what the reality is. What I'm doing now, uh, besides being an almost full-time grandmother, is uh, volunteering in, uh, in the Aguda, the Israel Association of uh, LGBTQ, in uh, a center, reporting center, uh, that was established two years ago, and they named it after Nir, my son. And what uh, I'm trying to do is to uh, make the awareness more, um, to create more awareness to the center, so people will know that there is a place they can report, anonymously or not, whatever they choose, and that they can get help in, in many, many different ways. I think that this is a, one of the keys to inclusion now, because that, that will be the op operative uh, thing that can be used in order to create activities in, in many, many uh, aspects that are not possible if you don't have the data, if you don't know what's going on if you have only story here, story there. So that's the main thing, I mean, for me now.